The construction company failed to put up any cones or barriers to let people know that there was a construction project going on. Find out why my client, who had just finished his grocery shopping, tripped and fell on the trench, suffered a massive fracture to his elbow. Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. He had just finished his grocery shopping. He had a couple of bags, it was just getting dark, and now he was crossing the street. And just as he was ready to step up onto the curb, his foot stepped into what turned out to be a trench of about four inches deep. Now, what's the problem here? The problem is that this trench was part of a construction project that was going on on this particular road. Anytime you have a construction company who's doing work on a roadway and now they actually make the road uneven, they are required to put up cones, they're required to put up barriers to alert the general public who are driving and walking near there that there's something uneven here, that there's a hazard here. Watch out for it, don't come into this area. That's what didn't happen here. The construction company failed to do that. So now who's actually responsible in this scenario? In this scenario, not only did we have to bring a lawsuit against the construction company for being careless and not putting out cones or barriers or tape to keep the people out of that construction area, but we also had to go after and sue the town, the municipality. Now why do we do that? Because it was the town that actually hired the construction company. So now the town is also likely going to be held in. Why? Because they're the ones who hired this construction company to do this job in a proper and safe manner. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in trying to evaluate who's responsible in this type of trip and fall incident. Not only do we look to see the construction company, who they are, but we also look to see who hired them, whether it was a town, a county, a municipality, because they will also have to be brought in as well. You know, I realize you're watching this because you likely have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.